Hi everyone, Namaskar. This is Dr. Bani Kant. Welcome to my health channel. How have you all been? It's been quite some time that I have been hibernating, but seems like some notorious and deadly virus has woken me up. Well, everyone is talking about Nipah virus these days, as there is an ongoing outbreak in Indian state of Kerala. About 13 people have already died, including a nursing staff, Lini, who was taking care of an infected patient. My heartfelt condolences to our family and a big salute to her sacrifices and to all those healthcare professionals, including doctors, nurses, and workers who are working carelessly, putting their lives at risk, taking care of the patients. Nipah virus infection is an emerging zoonotic disease that is transmitted from animals to humans and it's of great public health importance, especially in Southeast Asia region. This virus got its name from a village Sungai Nipah in Malaysia where its first outbreak occurred in 1998 among the pig farmers. Subsequent outbreaks have been reported in Bangladesh, India and Singapore and recently there has been an outbreak in May 2018 in Kojiko district of Kerala, India. So far, this virus has infected about 477 people and killed as many as 252 people since its first outbreak in 1998. Unfortunately, its case fatality rate varies from 40 to 70 percent. Now let's get to know about this deadly virus. Nipah virus is an RNA virus of genus Nipah virus from family Paramyxoviridae. Its natural reservoirs are fruit bats of genus Theropus and the infected bats set the virus in their excretion and secretions like saliva, urine and excreta but they are symptomless carrier. Transmission of this virus to human occurred through direct contact with the infected bat, infected pig and infected people. An infection may also occur by consuming raw dead palm sap contaminated by infected bats as occurred in Bangladesh in 2004. Now let's see how this disease manifests in the human beings. The incubation period, that is, the interval between the infection and the onset of the symptoms can range from 4 to 14 days, but in some cases, it can also be as long as 45 days. Human infection ranges from asymptomatic infection, acute respiratory infection, to fetal encephalitis. Infected people initially develop influenza-like symptoms like fever, headache, muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, sore throat, etc. This can be followed by dizziness, drowsiness, altered consciousness, and other neurological signs that indicate encephalitis. In severe cases, seizures and encephalitis may occur, which may progress to coma within 24 to 48 hours. And those who survive encephalitis may continue to have residual neurological complications. So how can we diagnose this deadly infection? The initial signs and symptoms are very non-specific, but the main tests include detection by ELISA and PCR, it is polymerase chain reaction, and the virus isolation by cell culture. Talking about the treatment, sadly, there are no specific drugs or vaccines for Nipah virus infection, but rivavirin, an antiviral drug, has been used to alleviate the symptoms. Intensive supportive care is recommended for severe respiratory and neurological complications. The main strategy is to prevent Nipah virus infection in humans. The preventive measures include 1. Decrease the risk of bad to human transmission by not drinking raw dead palm sap and the raw dead palm sap should be boiled before consumption and the fruits should be thoroughly washed and peeled before consumption. 2. Decrease the risk of transmission from animals to humans by wearing protective clothes and gloves while handling sick animals like pigs. Thirdly, decreasing the risk of human-to-human -human transmission through regular hand washing after visiting a sick person or taking care of a sick patient and wearing masks and protective clothing. And lastly, additional efforts focused on surveillance and awareness about Nipah virus infection to prevent future outbreaks. And let's start spreading awareness by sharing this video. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe my health channel. Wish you all good health. See you again.